Hey, Sean here from speedcubeview.com. So let's talk about commutators. Now, commutators kind of confused me for a long time. And I would see people talk about it, and they would say something like, well, a commutator you can use is f prime u f d f u prime, or sorry, f prime u f d prime. And then that moves these pieces. But I have no idea why or how. So I wanted to figure out if there's an intuitive way of doing it. Before we get to that, what a commutator is, is a set of moves where it's A, B, so a move that's we're going to call A, a move set that's called B, and then the reverse of A, reverse of B. You might see it look like this in print. Often you'll find A being a few moves while B is just one move. And what it is, is you can see here what we did just a second ago was A, which was F prime U, F. B, which was D, and then the, re the reverse of A, so we're inverting all the primes and regular, so clockwise, now counterclockwise, and going backwards. So now it's F prime U, F, and then D prime. What that's going to do, I'm gonna do it one more time and it should solve all of this, is that it's going to move this yellow piece to here, this one to here, and then this one to there. So I do A, B, reverse of A, reverse of B. How does this work though? So I'm going to tell you how to find commutators intuitively. You can use commutators for edges as well, but edges are not as efficient for FMC, but you still can use them anyways and use the exact same technique. Here's how the technique will work. You want two edges or corners in the bottom layer and one not in the bottom layer. And of course the bottom layer can be anywhere depending on how you're holding it. So what you're going to do then is you can mess up the entire cube to get a corner piece into wherever it needs to go and not mess up the rest of the bottom layer. So for example, let me set up how that was before. Okay, so this is what I had before. And you can see I've got to move this one down to here, this one to here, and that one back up. This is going to be the bottom layer. We've got two in the bottom layer, one here, and I can tr I can see where this piece is going to go, and then where that one is, where that one is. So the way it also needs to be set up is that that B move, B move is a little confusing because I'm not talking about back. The second move that you're going to use, which is on the down layer, needs to be the same color that this is. So that way you can just move it over and this will go right back in. So let me kind of walk you through this commutator. What I'm gonna do is move this into here. I can do whatever I want to these top two layers, just not mess up anything else on the bottom. So I put this into place with F prime U, F, and then I'm going to move this into that receiving spot where I'm going to reverse the first move There we go. And then I'll move that back over. So now, right here, we've got a couple options for commutators we can do. And we could just do a normal OLL and then PLL, like this would be a soon case. And that leaves us with a Z permutation, which isn't really the greatest thing ever. So we are just going to do two different um, commutators. Now that might not be the best thing in the world and you see I've already gone through a couple options beforehand in an early video I tried recording and I wasn't really happy with either one but we're going to do this anyway. So this first one I figured out now for the commutator like I said before you need to have two in a bottom layer and one in the top layer. So if we look just like right here I can see that this piece or this one right here Oh, where's a good place to start? So I can see that this red piece right here needs to go down there. And then this needs to go actually back up here. We're going to move it over there for right now. And then this one's going to go over here just for simplicity's sake of showing commutators. So what we're going to do, I'm going to cross all this stuff out that's down here, is to move this down to here. I'm going to do 
u prime l prime u l and I'm gonna move that other one into place by doing d prime and then I'm going to reverse that first one which was now l prime u prime l u so we've got l prime u prime l u and then d so that was a 10 move commentator to just move that one piece and then we have this final one so we're going to save this last one for our final video going over conjugates so hopefully this helps explain a commutator a commutator is just doing a move another move then back and back again what I really wanted to focus on is how to do it intuitively and really as long as you can get two pieces on the bottom and you can see where one piece goes to the next, that'll fix it. So I'll see you in the next video about conjugates.